Yeah, just keep walking. Oh, and whenever possible, take advantage of the game's buggy mechanics. No, seriously. In old games like this, that is a legitimate tactic. The ghoul has nothing usable. You see a ghoul. No kidding! I just examined it. Are you? All right. Let's um. Let's take a look at the map. Um, if I take to the water, <sighs> let's go see where this leads. Dead end. Awesome. I would totally explore that nook and cranny again, or a nook rather. Nook and cranny, I guess that saying would actually refer to multiple places, but. Man, I'm bad at correcting myself. Well, no, I guess that's not bad. I guess it's a good thing. I just have a tendency to do it. It's not bad. There we go. And there I go. Correcting myself again. So, let's see. Should I head this way to the west, or should I head down to the south? Still have a. I, I believe I don't actually. I don't even think I've investigated this section of the the dungeon. These are big dungeons. Like as I stated before, these dungeons are get huge. Like the fact that we're still in Stone Keep, and, and look how big this. Like you'd think maybe the uh, you know it's technically the first dungeon in the game. The, well. Because, you know, the first one we played through was basically just the starter dungeon. Woo, whoop de doo da right? And this one here is actually the first real dungeon. You'd think maybe, hey, yeah, it'll be a little bit smaller or something. Nope! Uh-uh. That's not how they, they did things back in the day. Back in the day, they just threw you in. They're like, all right, here you go. Welcome to Yon Dungeon Land. Jump across that? No, I don't think I'll make it. it. Wouldn't let me jump, so I couldn't see. I see you, lizard thing. All right, let me climb back up so I can start shooting fireballs at you. No, you're there, because I saw you. Gotta say, that is nice. And it lights it up on the way, so I'm like, oh, I know you're dead, because I saw it happen. Right, let's loot ya. Daggers. It's worth garbage, but eh. At least it's something, right? But yeah, the, uh... Like the first real dungeon in the game, and you got this huge sprawling area that to explore. And it's intimidating, really. If I honestly, if I hadn't already been like, well, I guess you could say it uh, on my first time through, I found it rather intimidating. Uh, actually, you know, I should. I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't rest. Now you'll notice that right here in the middle, my third bar. I believe that there is my uh, my endurance, like my fatigue. Because back in arena, uh, you didn't just get tired from running and then that was it. Now this is like an overall fatigue. Oh, nuts. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, I love the, the quick speed on this. Like, 
Ding, 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 ding. Not a lot, not a lot of stuff going on in the. Oh yes. And I level up. Nice. So basically, I just smoked through two guys. Ended up getting myself a kite shield, which I'm going to see if I can use. Uh, being a lighter class, I might not be able to. And I gain a level of experience. This is good. Let me see if uh, I can raise my two hit and two defend again. Yeah. So whenever I get five bonus points, I'll throw it into agility. And whenever I get less, maybe I'll throw it into intelligence. I see a rogue. Right, let's take a look at my character. Let's go to the next page. Can I use a kite shield? No, I can't. Darn it. Makes sense. Ooh, I got myself a torque. <gasps> look at those valleys drop. I have to identify this thing. A torque basically is, uh, if I recall correctly, it's a type of shield. But look at what it does to my... Oh, that's awesome. Actually, I'm just going to wear it now. Yeah, take advantage of the uh, increased uh, we'll say, or decreased armor class. And, uh... Yeah. Whoa! Right then. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? No, there's my... My sword is still there. Where'd my sword go? Sword back out, come on. For some reason, my sword just put itself away. I, I wonder if that was actually a spell. Was there like a disarming spell? Because that's one thing I've... I've, I've Noticed. Well. Holy cow! Going from, um, like a, a uh, Morrowind, which is, as I've stated before, my favorite in the series. Um, ah, uh, inventory's full. All right. Well, that'll stop carrying things. Um,. I was actually disappointed in, in Oblivion for a lot of reasons, but one of the big things was that uh, they actually had removed some of the spells. I'm saving at this point. So they had removed some of the spells, like Le Levitation, for instance, and they, they actually removed some of the other, um, we'll say, interesting spells. Um, little things here and there. I can't, I can't remember them off the top of my head, but I remember that they... And they removed the skills, too. They, they, they wanted to sort of condense things down. And, uh... Like, I feel like it just dumbed down the whole experience. And if this is a, a case of, uh, like, a disarming spell... That's awesome. I don't remember if that was in the later games. If it was, then... And it wasn't cut... Uh, someone let me know. Um, I would actually, uh, I, actually, I'd love to be corrected on this. Because a disarming spell actually sounds something like something really cool that I'd want to use, uh, maybe in one of my later, uh, later playthroughs of, well, when I get to the later games. I am paralyzed! Um, um, unparalyzed! What the? Behind me! Okay. I gotta learn how I, do, I keep doing that. I, uh... Let me try this. If I hold down the right mouse button and I press C... No. I don't know how, how I've been doing that. While I'm fighting, I'll be like swinging my mouse back and forth, back and forth, and then when I hit the C button, I notice my health just jumps up. Maybe it just 
knows when your health is at a certain point, so when you press C with the right mouse button held down, it heals you? Let's try that. I've wasted so much in-game time in this dungeon, just resting here and there. All right, let's 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 carry on. Let's move on. Cause that that's actually I, I'd really I really want to know that. So if I if I'm just swinging back and forth going yeah, if all, if if all I have to do is press C while swinging and it'll bring up my health again, then. And then awesome. Then we're golden. Like that'll that that streamlines things so much. What the heck is that? So we've got wolves and something else that I don't re recognize the sound of. Yes, I get it. There's a wolf nearby. It's howling. Ow! It's like a drunken ghost. Hi, guys! How unfortunate that you happen to be on the other side of this wall. While I have fire darts. Mwahahaha. <laughs> I love fried wolf in the morning. Oh yeah. Wolfios. That's a cereal I could get behind. All right, come on, come on. Stop getting stuck on things. The wolf has nothing usable. Well, if it had a broadsword, I'd be like, I'd be uh, frankly quite surprised. Either that or I'd be like, well, yeah, either way, I'd be surprised. I'd be like, I'm not playing Diablo. Seriously, that game there, it, like, terrified me for, like, months. Like, I'm scared. I'm going to, like, whoa, rat's coming. I was like, I'm just going to be walking, and I'm going to kick a rock, and then, like, a sword's going to fly up and decapitate me. Love Diablo. Well, one and two. I'll never touch number three. As long as you've got online requirements, no, screw you. You keep online optional, yeah, we can be friends. All right. Come on. I was really hoping they would like hit me a little bit harder than that so I could test out my swinging healing theory. Hypothesis, because a theory would be based upon some sort of scientific fact, or fact rather. Well, I guess a, sci a fact would be a scientific fact. Um. Anyways! Hello, lizard man people! Lizard men? Yes, I believe lizard men would be more appropriate. You know, I, that's actually something I, I, I realized. In um, later games, I don't recall seeing any lizard men. And uh, also, in this game here, I forgot to show you guys that. The Argonians actually don't look like lizards in this game. They actually look like really weird, swampy people. No, I didn't click on that one. I clicked on this one. Um, so I'm wondering... Is if at some point down the line they were like, why don't we just take the uh, lizard men and the Argonians and combine them into one race? 
He's because actually on that note too, the Khajiit, uh, Khajiit, Khajiit, Khajiit. That's how they refer to themselves. Um, in this game, don't actually. Um, they don't look like cats either. Maybe I'll show you that uh, after uh, I get killed or I'm done adventuring here. Real quick at the end, I'll. Uh, or not at the end of the game, but at the end of maybe this uh, recording session or something. I'll go ahead and I'll. Uh, or later, some other time. I'll just show you the different races, what they look like. Uh, let's just rest until fully healed. You are healed. Fantabulous. And, I, you know, I'm looking at the frame rate here. Like, how, how slow things are running. And I'm like, seriously? Imagine how slow this would have been had I left the default uh, speed settings. Like, cycle settings on uh, in DOSBox. This would be miserable. It would quite literally be the... It would basically be a slideshow. I guess not in the sense of a format. It, but it would play like a slideshow. It would be like, it would be like if I was playing a console game. Okay, now I know I just off offended somebody. Listen. Sorry. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not a console hater. I, I, I own many, many consoles. Many consoles. Can I drop you? Oh! I can right-click to see the condition of stuff. Am I some kind of idiot? I didn't know this. Be Wait, not available. Minus three to AR. Mithril belt. Bracers. 28 charges left. Oh! 20 charges left. Damage three to 21. Two to eight. My life. Seriously, I played way past this before, and I didn't even know this. Let me see. Leather, leather, leather greaves. Condition new. So I can actually see the condition of the stuff I'm carrying. Almost new. This is awesome. I feel like an idiot. But this is awesome. Where's my, uh, where's the short sword I'm using? Battered. New. It only does one to eight. So, uh, as soon as this, you know, the, a short sword like that's not even worth repairing. I'm just going to use it until it breaks. And then when it breaks in the middle of a fight, I'll be screaming, going, why didn't I switch out to the other short sword? All right. Awesome. Oh. Oh, that's right, I dropped some stuff. Okay, I was like, where'd all this loot come from? Wow. Good memory, Jason. Good memory. I think I'm going to need to consult a map. I feel like I've walked around in circles. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually uh, aim myself sort of south and head down this way. Whoa! Hello, spiders. I am paralyzed. Can I be unparalyzed now, please? Holy cow! Oh, I'm still par I can cast spells while paralyzed! Come on! There we go. I've got this. So that's what was making that sound. You know, I've never encountered uh, spiders in Stone Keep before. So that's why this is, uh, that was a shock for me. I wonder if it's because I'm a higher level. I'll have to do a little bit of research to that. I think, uh, 
I guess maybe Arena is like the uh, later installments in that. Um, it levels with you, like uh, the world levels with you. But I like that I still see um, lower level stuff, like a lizard man and stuff, still coming after me. That, that's one of the things that just killed Oblivion for me, was the leveling was so broken in that game. But so far, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with uh, how they're doing it in Arena! Oh! <laughs> Remember I was talking about that short sword? <laughs> Alright, so my, my sword broke right in the middle of the fight, and yeah, that was fun. So I'll have to start off where I saved from last time. All right. Uh, before we go, N nah. Before we go, nothing. Um, actually, I'm. I I went ahead. I went ahead and I uh, I cut the video uh, looking at the uh, d the different races because it was taking too long and being tedious. I'm gonna have to do some heavy editing for that. Um, and my my commentary was a little off. So, um, maybe we'll do that next time. So. I would like to thank you all so much for watching, and uh, until next time, game on.